So uh, speaking of keeping things in the family, mm -hmm. you are playing uh, Kano's cousin. Sarah in Jane Crawford. Top Boy. Can I just say that was like the best segue? Oh my. This is what I do, days. darling. This is my job, you that know? That was fun. Talking of family. Boom, into top. Listen. Straight off the dome. Nah, sick. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, but you're, J <laughs> you're Jermaine Newton. I am, aka Champagne Jermaine. Champagne Jermaine. Yeah. Now, can I just say, first of all, Top Boy for me, right? We're on series two. Yes. I think it is fantastic. It's so well made. It's mm -hmm. so well shot. It's that edgy kind of Channel 4 drama that you always want them to put out the bag. The script is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you guys like, because it seems very real and authentic. So even words and slang that's just started to pop up in the last few months, mm -hmm. they're using in this series. So yeah. you know it's on point. Yeah. Are you guys coming up with a lot of the alterations of the script? Because obviously, you know, you've got your ear to, <clears> what, <throat> you know, how you would say stuff. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of like, there is room for improvisation, I would say. Um, mm. Or is the script writer just a bad man? No, the script writer, the script writer is dope anyway, because yeah. he's telling the story and this is a story that he's thought of. But in terms of making the character your own, yes, the, di the director has that license more so than the script writer. So yeah, on camera, he's like, look, just, just own it. So we're bringing our own sort of flavor to the character. So that's why I'm saying things like, don't du, 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 and get me. Oh, I know, fam. I know. That's what I'm talking. And Twitter goes off because people just love it because they, you know, they actually they can young people especially, you know, yeah. who maybe are not that far removed from the characters you're portraying, mm -hmm. really feel like they're connecting with you, and yeah. they're like, at last, we've got something that's real. And that person would actually say that. Yeah, and yeah. The authenticity of it, I think, is really important. Yeah, it's authentic, and I think that's like, you know to do with the whole like production team they've like spent money on it and you know really invested time in it and then it's the actors as well making sure that they're they're playing the characters well and realistic do you get what i'm saying like there's nothing more even i hate just as a because i'm a fan i'm just a like i'm just a massive fan i'm just like blessed to be an actor or be making music so i'm just like a fan of these pieces but i hate when i'm watching things and i see something and i'm just like Look, that's just not even realistic like that really annoys me so yeah i think everyone's you know trying to Bring some realism to it, really. And that's completely coming over, which is great. Good. And I just, uh, it's my favourite thing on, on TV right now. Good, good, And I actually good. admitted to you that I, I genuinely saw the first episode and then your episode I watched on demand. Okay, cool. So I was like skipping through to find you. Like, yeah. oh, yes. And it, you know, like sometimes by accident, it just jumps on what you're looking for. And I was yeah. like, result. Yeah. So, um, so talking about the plot line and stuff, without giving away too much, mm. you're playing Jermaine, your... Um, Champagne. Champagne Jermaine, your Kano's <laughs> cousin, let's get a bin. And um, basically, he there's a hit out on you. Yeah. And it's worth £20,000. It's actually worth £10,000. Oh. And, um, so yeah, that's right. He was going to split it 9 1 with the other dude, wasn't right. he? Right. Yeah. But he's come to me and said that the hit's 20. So he can make a little profit. He wants 20, basically. So you would think that someone would. He's basically found out that the person he needs to kill for money is his own cousin. Yes. And everyone thinks, oh, he's going to let him know and be like, look, mate, you know, a heads up. They want us to kill you, but obviously you're my cousin, so I'm not. But yes. what does he actually say? Well, he's dodgy. He says, yo, you're my family, but I ain't never liked you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how he says it as well. So I'm just like, yo, this is something that you're meant to be coming and telling me for free, cuz. And then, yeah, but it's... And then there's a whole load of madness where he wants you to pay so he can reverse the hit. Yeah, and I just constantly trying to get away. Because at the end of, <laughs> at the, end of the day, like I just see it, well, how, how the character I was playing, how I saw it in my mind was that, well, that's my cousin anyway, so... Why should I, you have to pay him? Well, like, of course I'm going to try to get away. I know you. Like, oh, okay. You know, Oh, you ain't serious. Yeah. But, <laughs> but then they really let me know that they are that they are serious. Yeah. And and what kind of relationship do you have with Kano anyway? Because obviously you guys from the UK, you know, scene, you've known each other for a long time. Yeah. So have you always been like quite? Because I lose track of who's friends with who. And oh uh, yeah, yeah. Kano's that, that's like that's like my brother, man. Oh really? Yeah, so he yeah, is yeah, like yeah. family to you in real life. Yeah. So it, you know, we did the Gorillas World Tour together. So we was like, oh, yeah. yeah, we was traveling the world together for four months. Damon Albarn, everything. Yeah. So we were just like you know, on a tour bus, day in, day out, hotels next door, every city for like four months, every day. So yeah, and like we just went through a lot of things as well, man. So yeah, we're cool, man. Proper. Is it is it kind of weird to like be doing music stuff together and now doing acting stuff together? What feels like more natural to you? It must be both, I don't know. It's nah, for us it's cool. Cause like we just talk like, most of the time when we talk, it's just banter or like we're just talking about other stuff. So we're not even talking about music or talking about, acting so when we're on set it's just cool it's like, let's work let's work together and it's comfortable do you know what i'm saying we get on anyway so how about ashley waters as well yeah to be honest like i 
I used to watch Ashley on TV when I was younger. So, yeah, so you kind of looked to him a bit. Yeah, well, I always wanted to like work with him. Like I said, yeah, like I would like to to be in a drama or something. And then Top Boy came along and then we was in it. So yeah, he's cool to work with. He's funny as well, man. He's funny. He's a little bit older than us. He he's like, a character, isn't he? Yeah, he won't like me saying that. But He's a bit of an elder. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit older than us. You get me? So, but, but he's cool though, man. And we all get on. And I just think it's good to see like young young inner city boys black boys just yeah. like getting along do you get what I'm saying because we have we have a hard a bad rap a, a sometimes. bad rap sometimes in the mm. media do you get me so like us together all getting on working working our craft getting money it's good BBC Radio One Sarah Jane